Hello viewers, this is Professor Alex and today I'm going to speak on how to build wealth from the 2023 recession. Whether we are already in a recession or approaching one is debatable. 97% of businesses are cutting costs by around 10 to 20% and more than 90% of CEOs and the corporations has began preparing for strategies for a recession. Most markets are down by a minimum of 10 to 20%. Knowing what you're doing and analyzing the markets correctly is your opportunity to become wealthy. Most people use this moment to hold what they currently have and modify their investment strategy for more secure options. But what should you do precisely in this situation to make more money? You should precisely do the opposite and that is already always be lucrative. I am a contrary and I always think of how to be contrary to the crowd. If you are contrary to the crowd, then you will of course make money. In recession, the crowd always tries to exit the market. But frankly speaking, recessions are the time to enter the market. Be it the housing market, be it the uh, stock market, be it cryptocurrency, that's where the money lies. Your ability to become wealthy in the coming years will depend on how you enter the market in these dips and recession gives one of the best opportunities to enter the market in a dip. I will discuss three ways to make money during the recession of 2023. Number one, by creating wealth from the stock market. Most of the funds are trading between 10 to 30 percent below their all-time high making now the best opportunity to profit from the stock market. Get into the market if you don't understand stocks well, buy index funds, buy mutual funds, but now is the time in this dip to get into the stock market. The recent Silicon Valley Bank sale, the Silicon Valley Bank crisis that created the sale of Silicon Valley Bank created a major opportunity for not only you know uh, buyers of the uh, you know banking index but the entire index the entire index went down the finance banking indexes went down all the banking stocks went down so if you were to invest in any of the banking stocks any of the indexes you would have definitely made money the best way to make money in a stock market i always keep telling to my students is sip systematic investment plan or dollar cost averaging you must buy, if you have $100, use $5 to buy every month. When you buy every month, it is called dollar cost averaging and eventually in the long term, it is always a profitable strategy. It's also called SIP. It is not possible to guarantee whether a company will do great or not. But if you buy SIP, if you buy, uh, you know, periodically and regularly, you will definitely uh, make money on the index. For instance, Microsoft, which is currently down 22%, JP Morgan Chase down 15%, Amazon down 45%, Disney down 33.8%. So if you buy any fundamentally good blue chip company and buy it at a dip, you can definitely you know, enhance your chances of wealth creation. You should ideally create two portfolios, one with index funds to benefit 10 to 20% after correction and the other you can create a mutual fund using individual stocks of blue chip companies which are very strong, have a strong growth potential, give strong dividends. So these two portfolios will definitely help you get a very strong return on your investment. Number two, making money from the real estate. Given the growing interest rates on mortgage loan, it may be the worst time to buy a home if you can't avoid being eaten by the banks. But house prices are also falling due to these rates and this trend will last for a while since individuals take advantage of these chances. Now is the time when the house prices are low to get into the market, to buy in Provided, of course, you have the credit, you have the down payment, and you have the mortgage worthiness. The wisest course to buy a house is now, again, if you have the means to do so. If you have good credit, you can always refinance it later when the interest rate is becomes cheaper. But be prepared to take the advantage of current real estate prices 
because you can locate a good deal once the interest rates return to normal. Number 3. Generating wealth from the crypto market. The crypto markets are also currently more than 60% down from last year's high. Now is the time, but again, I would uh, tell you to exercise caution. Keep very little of your investment in the crypto market because crypto market is highly volatile. It can go down, but you know, uh, the uh, central markets, you can definitely go uh, for a little bit of your portfolio. You can keep for crypto, maybe, you know, five to 10%. But I advise against trying other risky strategies or putting all your portfolio into the crypto market. I strongly advise against that, but you can keep very small amount uh, towards the crypto market since they are down 30 to 60%. You can definitely get, uh, you know, a good profit once the crypto market comes up. Cryptocurrency industry is currently going through a crisis and you can risk losing everything. So I, I don't know how to underline this, uh, you know, or, or state this uh, seriously. You must not be overly greedy. Keep very little, maybe one to 2% or maximum 5% of your portfolio towards the cryptocurrency. You can follow any of these wealth building strategies for increasing your personal wealth. Let me know your thoughts on wealth creation in the comment section below. I'll be back with more such videos on personal finance and entrepreneurship. I'm hoping to see you soon. Bye.